Tap all the random open ports in the manifold. Then run a new brake booster line. The port in the manifold is much larger than the factory Mazda one. So I made a little spacer and lubed it up to slip on the new hose. Unplug the blue and red connectors from the PCM. Unbolt and remove the PCM. Now slide in the new PCM with a tune for the LM7. Bolt it in and plug in the connectors. Put a new oil filter on the relocation pedestal. Then fill the engine with 5W30. Then fill the power steering reservoir with ATF. Now put some 93 octane fuel in it. Crank it over a few times with the fuel pumps off to build some oil pressure. The idle is very high due to a garbage eBay throttle body. Since the exhaust pipes are out, replace the O2 sensors. Remember to anti-seize the new ones. Fill the T56 with Dextron 3 ATF. Put on a bead of silicone to seal the shifter. Now install the shifter. Bolt on the shift lever and the shift boot. Reinstall the headlight hood pin bracket. Reinstall the bash bar. And reinstall the front bumper. All right, so there were a couple things that got done after the swap that were not filmed. Uh, the first one is sensors. The motor was running like absolute garbage and I replaced all the 
uh, engine sensors, except for the MAF and the MAP. Other than that, I replaced everything, and then the car ran tip top. Number two is the throttle body. That throttle body was so terrible. I bought it off eBay, it was super cheap, and it was so crappy that the actual butterfly itself was bending under engine vacuum. And that just made it run incredibly bad. The idle was super high. I replaced it with the throttle body from the old LS6, and then it ran fine. It fixed the idle problem completely. The third one was the uh, 90 degree 6AN fuel line that is uh, on the back of the motor, uh, the one that goes right to the rail. That got crushed against the firewall at some point. So I replaced that. Uh, more of, it wasn't leaking or anything. It was more of just a good maintenance kind of thing. And uh, then the car ran excellent after those three things. So that concludes the swap. Thanks for watching. RX7 corner here. Mush them together, make an RX14.